the rotten reason why he loves you but still won't commit. That's what we're talking about today. Because if you use this acronym of rotten, and I picked it specifically, but it is so good to help you remember and use the tips that I am about to give you, you will do yourself such a favor in getting to commitment, which is ultimately what your man wants as well. I really believe that knowing what I know, having worked with women around the world whose men love them, there is no doubt about it, but it can really feel tough and it can feel kind of rotten that he loves you. But after a year, two two years, more, and it seems like nothing will get him to commitment, that isn't the case. When you use this acronym, you remember it, you repeat it, you will change things and you will have the best chance of getting to the commitment you both deserve and definitely that he will desire more when you start instituting these. So we're going to get to them and I want you to stay till the end because when you use all of them together, and again, you're going to try to get to using all of them, even if you start with just a few and change that, you're going to see the change in him and that's going to spur you on to continue on and do more. The last two, interestingly enough, the E and the N are really, really important even if you just use those two. So let's get to it. Who am I to talk about this? I'm Coach Paula Grooms, a dating and relationship coach for women, licensed social worker, and author of the book, Why Won't He Commit? How a Man Decides to Make You the One. I help you find, grow, or reunite with a man you truly desire, inspire his continued interest so you get the relationship of your dreams and the commitment you totally deserve. So let's get right to it. Rotten, the acronym that is going to be game changing for you in your relationship. The R. You've heard me talk about many, many times, and it's one of the hardest things for women to implement in their relationship. And that is reaching out. You must stop the amount of reaching out you are doing. That is seriously difficult for many. And it's why I put it under my 80-20 approach. At least to start, you have to do it a bit better, try to get better each day. But if you are continuing to reach out, you're going to lower his interest level bit by bit. And it's so subtle, but it's one of the reasons he may have in not getting to commitment because he needs to be inspired to get there. So we're going to look at this under the lens of how much you are doing this. If you are reaching out more than 20% of the time to his 80% that he does it, you're out of balance in terms of men and women in relationships. He does not want to be pursued. I have a lot of videos about more of the psychology that is very subtle behind what reaching out can do to lower man's interest. So I'm going to put those below. You just have to know that if you are reaching out, you are lowering his interest to one degree or another. And again, it's about the amount of times, what it's about, the content of it, etc. So look at those videos. And of course, I will continue to do more videos about it. What is the O? The O is oversharing. Now, what does that mean, oversharing? We as women, we're the connectors, the cooperators, the caretakers of the world, and we value verbal communication. It makes us feel connected. There is a problem, however, that men get satiated with it and they also get bothered by it for a number of reasons that you will not connect with and may even take offense at him not valuing hearing about what you want to share about. I'm just going to give you a general rule about oversharing. First and foremost, you must stop sharing about former relationships. 
Now, this is also contextual because if you say have been married before and he knows you've been married, as long as you are not bringing him up in any context other than something very factual, we were married for five years. We never went to Aspen, something like that. If there's a question about it, but you don't want to be talking about the quality of that relationship, what you were doing in that relationship, how the two of you related, relating stories about him that show enjoyment of him, or even taking umbrage at him because men correlate that to how you might feel about him in this relationship. It just doesn't do you a service and it can absolutely make him question stuff about you that you will think is really crazy, but it's the difference between men and women. Now, you can think about this under the lens of you may not want to be hearing about him in terms of past relationships. Yes, understand that whatever your level is in terms of being tolerant of hearing about past women in his life, past relationships, he has much less tolerance than you do for it. So stop oversharing about anything related to other men. Just a good rule of thumb, if you stop that, it relieves him of that doubt, worry, and a little bit of even stress. All right, let's get to the T's. This T is easy, and in some ways, you can remember it from relating it to the O, which is too much talking about your relationship. If you are talking about your relationship, and this can be very subtle, I work with clients who don't realize that they're actually talking about the relationship in very subtle ways that get under the skin of their man. Again, he's not gonna verbalize that necessarily, he might, but it is gonna start eroding his confidence in the relationship. Women relate through verbalization, men relate via action. This is one of the main gender gaps in my book. I hope you will get it and read it so it will help you even get more of this context and understand that trying to talk about the relationship to him feels like you're not having one and also feels to him like problems. You are not happy, it's not working because if it worked, you wouldn't be talking about it, you'd just be having it. So get that distinction. Stop talking about the relationship. If you are having problems in your relationship, then perhaps it's time that you talk to someone like me. Talk to someone else, figure it out, and relate via action. And that might be pulling away for a time. That's relating via action. Not reaching out is relating via action that helps him because that's what he needs. You see, it's all on the same theme. So too much talking about your relationship. And I hesitate to even use the word too, as in T-O-O, -O, like too much, because almost any talking about the relationship that isn't in the positive of you're both looking forward to something, he's brought it up and he is looking to get validation about something. Other than that, stop talking about the relationship. Okay, the second T. This also relates to reaching out, but it's simply this, too much texting. And that can seem nebulous. What do I mean too much texting? You are texting him back at such a pace whereby it feels like conversation and it doesn't allow for space between the texts and you are seeming to continue the conversation rather than okay something has been settled and now you let him be and go off on his own you have the relationship in person think about that no matter if you are seeing him to the degree that you'd like to see him 
It's when you see him that he feels you're having the relationship, but you may be attempting to have it in text, and that is going to make him feel uncomfortable. Because why? It's more verbalization, not relating via action. So you've got to put the kibosh on so much texting. And you can do that in various ways. Here's a tip. You see that you're getting into some kind of conversation back and forth and it's too much. You want to say, hey, why don't we just table this and talk about it next time when we're together? Smiley face. You know, this is something that we can talk about next time rather than go back and forth in a million texts and maybe get it confused or mixed up. Miss you, kissy face. You just ended it on a good note. He'll feel better and relieved. You may be tweaked by that, but you got to take that for the team if you want to get to this commitment. Think about that. Again, lots more videos on that, but this rotten acronym is so valuable if you just remember what each of these letters stand for and even if you do it to a very small degree you're going to help yourself so much what is the e here we go very important last two the e emotional regulation around him this is such a big one ladies men are not well equipped generally speaking to attend to our emotions is this fair is it fortunate no not necessarily we would like to just be ourselves and put it all out there and be assuaged for whatever it is that we're going through and generally men feel very uncomfortable with any emotional dysregulation that has to do with him even in a general sense it's very hard for him because men generally want to fix things for women and make things calm comfortable nonverbal no stress relaxed now also if he is in any way dysregulated he cannot handle anything of yours but putting emotional stuff onto a man is much like telling us to get under a car on the cold greasy floor look up at it and fix it we generally speaking don't know what the hell to do that's how he feels in the relationship realm and you putting him in a position of regulating something emotionally or fixing something emotional that's going on for you now here is a caveat if it's something very upsetting to you that doesn't have anything to do with him just try not to do it through verbalization but maybe a bit more physically for example you were upset maybe you're crying go to him and just put your head on his shoulder and you can say things like can you just be there for me by holding me this will make him feel strong and competent because it's something he knows how to do and feels he can do that and provide that for you where someone else can't. But if you are going through, say, emotional stuff with your family or a friend, he's not going to feel very comfortable dealing with that either. He's gonna to wanna to give you advice and problem solving on it whereby you can get more dysregulated because he's not understanding in a way that a female would, maybe. Then you're gonna ramp it up. He's gonna feel not competent in that way for you, and it's not gonna make him feel comfortable to commit to you for the long haul. This is what this is all about. Because he loves you, doesn't mean he can still do these things that we're talking about here, because commitment is all about him feeling comfortable in his world and knowing that you can go the distance because he can handle it okay so this last one the n this is not to be missed and i say that because you possibly are not focusing on you your world 
your things apart from him. If you've been together a long time, you've wanted commitment, you've been talking to him about it, it's not happening. It can feel like you are focused there and not on you and what you're doing. If you switch this focus away from him by one of the other things here in the acronym, not reaching out, stopping the texting so much, making him wonder, as you also know, from my work here, from the book, that women love through knowing, men love through wondering. When you change these things up, you will make him wonder. That's actively loving and you say, well, Paula, you're saying that loving me isn't quite enough. It's not, but anything that can ramp that up along with these things will help get you there to the commitment you deserve. So you can do this by every time you start thinking about him, what should I do with him? How do I interact in this way? What am I doing to focus on me? What else is going on in my life? If it is something about my family, talk to my girlfriends or a family member or a counselor or get into coaching. This is what it's all about. The focus on you dealing with your programming, dealing with the issues that you want to get better in your life and take the focus off of him and what he's doing, the relationship. This will help make him wonder. And I have to say, I love that it was the N here and the last letter in the acronym, because if you were to have to pick just one of these, that one, not focusing on yourself, be the one you have to change. It is huge. Men are pursuers. When your interest is away from him, that's when he most wants to get your attention. It is just the birds and the bees, the way of us as the human animals we are. So make sure to change that one, specifically start focusing on you. And if you need help with this, please connect with me. You can speak to me for free on the podcast. You can get so much help from becoming a member of the 8020 Wonder Club and hearing real life and love coaching conversations I have with women who are in these situations and the advice I give them in its entirety on the episodes categorized by age and relationship status. You can get that by going to the 8020wonder.club. Again, if you need more, there's so much here, but specifics are details that are very important and maybe you need just a little tweak to help tip you over that tip that you're on right now and not go backwards. It's what I do. It's what is so meaningful to me when I help a woman get there. I can help you do that. If you want to connect with me, there are ways in the description. Just take a look at that. And just for today, make sure you bring this to mind. Rotten, what each one stands for. Pick one. Pick one for this week. Start doing it and start seeing the results you get out of doing it. The beauty of men is they respond very, very well to very subtle, small changes. So take one of these that really rings true to you, like, boy, I know I'm doing that. Change it and you will be on your way to getting the commitment you deserve. I trust this was helpful today. We will do more and I will see you next time. I trust you got a lot of good information in this video and I want you to have more by subscribing and clicking that red alert bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And if you want even more, there are ways to talk to me. You can talk to me for free on the podcast. You can have a consultation with me. There are several other ways that you can check out by going to coachpaulagrooms.com. I am available to you. Just go now to coachpaulagrooms.com for any question to get my book to find out about any of my coaching programs, my self-help courses, anything at all that you need. I am here for you and want to give you all that is possible because all is possible for you in your romantic life and you can get what you desire and deserve. I want you to know that. I am happy you are here learning, leveling up, and I will see you in the next video.